Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Fridhi Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial about the how we can create a simple calculator function. Okay, uh, if someone is new, then go to playlist about the LabVIEW plus Python and visit tutorial number 1 and 2. Now let's come uh, to create a Python code. Minimize this one. And uh, and this one is our path or we can say uh, this one is our tutorial number 3. This one, this folder. Okay, in this folder, uh, this one is our main way uh, we create a code okay and first we need to create a python code and give the path okay now uh, click to this one and this one okay that's why uh, you visit to one and two in the one and two i already define how you can create the path okay and let's time change uh okay everything is done now let's open this okay uh press ctrl e okay uh yes in this uh vi i uh, give the path okay when i click to run and you see d lab view everything is and this one is our python python file location okay and the name python calculation 3 this one okay and if uh, if someone don't know about this uh, then visit to number one and two okay now everything is done this one is our path okay and this one is our uh, python path 3.6 okay now close this one now uh, let's edit uh, we can say create the python code okay now what you do let's start step by step and first time and here uh, output add okay this one is our new or we can say this one is our integer okay i'm declared in by default zero and this one is global variable uh, again output subtract sub okay equal to zero next is output uh, multiply equal to zero next is output divide equal to zero like this okay now uh, we need to create a function that is using the def parameter def and i'm and here add okay and we need to uh, give the parameter we can say we need to pass the parameter okay and let's i'm and here in the add uh, a comma b or you can enter input one or input two okay let's i mean here uh, input one second is input two this one okay now we need to save and i'm using the global variable that is output add output add equal to input one plus input two this one this value is stored in output add next we need to uh, return type okay we need to display help of return return and we need to enter the output add this one is our output output add yes now uh, one function is done that is add and uh, let's what we do uh we let's copy this one okay and paste here paste here okay and in this uh, function we need to add that is uh, change the function name sub okay and everything is done let's we need to change the output output uh, sub this one and same here output sub yes now let's again paste this one for multiply and you need to enter mult okay uh, let's and uh, give the small same here yes output mul okay mul mult same for next or last one is for divide and let's um, change this one that is uh, div and this one is our mul okay mul div this one is our fun function and in the output um use this global variable for div okay and let's um change this capital here let's um uh, change to small d yes and same for return output uh div and change input one two and you need to give a symbol that is this one is for divide and this one is for multiply this one is for subtract 
and same plus yes everything is done okay now let's save file save and please remember this function add subtract mul and div and input one to this one yes now let's uh, save and minimize this one okay and let's create a new or we can say main uh, vi open this and you see in this uh, folder they have nothing now let's start to create right click here and go to connectivity first python this one open python node and close python now close this one first is this python version uh, let's I'm create a control this one is a python version next is a session in to session out session out to session in and this one is error out to error in let's modify and next one is module path right click here go to uh, select a vi and choose this one uh, sorry go to your tutorial number three python code path and uh, this one okay select here and this one is our path okay now open and see everything is done and click to run and see the name is python calculation 3 yes now close next is our uh, function name it's very important okay right now we need to change like add subtract divide how we can use okay if you are try to right click control and this one is you need to enter manually step by step or we can see one by one okay but it's not a perfect control b uh, let's change different go to silver or uh, okay and go to a string let's we are choosing this combo box this one select here uh, let's i'm uh, change the size uh, yes let's increase or we can see a uh, different multiple functions this one is name multiple functions let's increase python version let's increase the size yes. enter the 3.6 this one is python version yes now uh, what you do you need to connect this multiple function to uh, this one this one is your function name yes next one is our very important written type okay and we are using the integer then what you do right click numeric go to numeric constant okay now select to this one okay let's drag and we are using two inputs here input one and two okay and what we do right click here and go to a uh, numeric or we can say silver choose the numeric and use this numeric control and i'm and here enter input one Let's increase the size. Yes, now copy or we can say duplicate. Enter input to yes. And uh, let's again and you need to connect to terminal one. This one and this one you need to connect terminal two. this one yes everything is done and this one is written output a written value right click and create indicator uh yes okay now let's um, delete this one and we need to enter your function name right click and go to edit item first we need to insert that is add second is sub next one is mul and next one is div divide this one is our functions now click to ok ok first you need to select one that is add ok and i went here uh, like uh, tan tan ok uh, yes now everything is done let's uh, first click to run 
and you see add 10 10 okay now what you do let's um, uh, go uh, right click and create a while loop for continuity operation uh, first wait let's modify yes right click go to structure and create a while loop okay right now this path let's i'm uh, click to outside okay now uh, right click here and create a control this one is our stop button okay now click to this one and let's modify justify click to center yes okay now click to run and see okay everything is in let's i'm click to enter uh, 11 to 10 at 21 okay and let's i'm 10 and when i click to subtract this one and you see 10 minus 10 0 okay when i increase to this one like 20 20 minus 10 equal to 10 okay next click to multiply and you see it's multiplied 20 into 10 200 everything is done when i click to divide and you see 20 divided by 10 that is 2 okay everything is done not need to use multiple chords okay you can help of this uh, multiple function you can easy to add uh, different functions okay i help of this you can easy to run okay now you see add subtract multiply and divide everything is done okay and thank you so much if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys